So I got a question from David over on Instagram and he was wondering what weights he should be looking at before entering a strongman competition and what weights would actually win a strongman competition. I will say before we start that anyone who is even contemplating entering a strongman competition, go for it. You will get so much experience, it doesn't matter if on the day you don't particularly lift that much, it's all about learning and gaining that experience. But to answer the question, we are going to go through firstly what sort of weight you should be aiming for in each of the strongman categories. So we're going to go through novice, intermediate and then the opens and we're going to be looking at the main lifts for that. And then we're going to look at what weights you would be lifting to win a novice competition. This will give you a little bit of an idea of what the targets you should be aiming for for any of these competitions. So we begin with the first timers. So for anybody out there that's looking at entering their first novice strongman competition, if you're hitting anywhere near the weights on the screen, then you're ready to go and you should definitely think about entering. The log press 80 kg, so that's the ground to overhead, your deadlift anywhere between the 160 to 180, your yoke walk 200 kg, farmers 80 kg in each hand, and your atlestone 90 to 100 kg. Now for anyone that is worried that they maybe haven't hit one or two of those numbers before, don't worry about it, go on the day, get the experience in. Also, you will be able to use your equipment on the day. So for instance, with Atlas Stones, you may be allowed to use Tacky, which is a complete game changer. You might be allowed to use sleeves, deadlifting suits, and a host of other equipment that will actually help you reach those numbers. It all depends on the competition itself. Next one we're on to is the novice category. This is the weights that you will look at if you are really comfortable in that novice category. So you'll see the jump, it goes from 80 kg up to 90 this time on the log press. Deadlift, you're trying to get in around 200 to 220. Yoke walk, 240. And again, that's for 20 to 40 meter distance. Farmer's walk, you're 100 to 110 kg. And then your Atlas Stone max would be around the 120 kg. Again, if you're a little bit weak on one or two of these moves, don't let that put you off. It will really push you to train harder if you've entered a competition and you haven't hit those weights just yet. And also keep in mind that the weights on the screen will leave you comfortable in that category. However, these weights may not win you a competition. They are just a gauge for strength on each of the categories. Moving on to the intermediate category, your log press would want to be around the 110 to 120. Deadlift, 230 to 250. Yoke walk, in around 280 kg. Onto the farmer's walk, 110 to 120. Keeping in mind that is the 20 to 40 meter distance as well. And lastly, your atlas stone, you'd really want to be hitting 130 kg stone at least. Lastly, we're hitting that open category. The log press would want to be 130 plus. Your deadlift, hitting between 250 and 280. Yoke walk for 20 to 40 meters, 300 to 380. Farmer's walk is 140 per hand and again 20 to 40 meters. And that Atlas Stone, anywhere from 140 to 180 kg. So with any of these categories, if you are hitting anywhere near those numbers, then feel confident, enter it. At worst, it will push you to hit higher numbers in your training. Now, when it comes to telling you what weights will actually win a novice competition, that's quite difficult because in a lot of these competitions, the moves will be done for reps rather than max lift. However, in the last novice competition that I did, the winning log press max was 115. So you can relate that back to the 90 kg that I said you, you would want to be lifting. Then the max deadlift that won it was 260 in the novice category. Now I know some of these weights might be a little scary to anybody that's starting off in their first strongman novice competition. However, don't worry about that. You're not going to your first strongman competition to win it. If you do, brilliant. But really your aim is to learn as much as possible gain that experience and just enjoy yourself on the day. So that's the weights that you need to know before you enter a strongman competition. I will reiterate one more time that a lot of these weights are 
fairly irrelevant for somebody going for that first competition. It's all about gaining that experience. So don't worry if you're going, my log press isn't hitting that, those numbers. That is not a reason not to enter one of these competitions. Just go for it. You will learn so much and it will help all of your lifts and you will be prepared for the next one. So thanks very much for watching. Please comment below if you are going into your first competition or if you have any questions on any of the other lifts that I haven't covered in this video. Please like the video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.